I'm going to now introduce Jor Paley, who's going to say a few words. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background about myself and the center, uh, I uh, trained uh, at the University of Toronto, did my residency in medical school there, uh, and I uh, moved to the United States in 1987 uh, to um, take on an academic position at the University of Maryland, and I was there 14 years, uh, and uh, left there. Uh, the rank of uh, professor and um, um, moved, uh, we had set up a thing called the Maryland Center for Limb Lengthening and Reconstruction and while at the university I actually had my own lab, we did mostly muscle research, uh, uh, did muscle regeneration research because of my interest in limb lengthening. I, um, my own personal um, background is that uh, after training uh, in multiple fellowships uh, in pediatric orthopedics, trauma orthopedics, hand surgery, pediatric orthopedics, and, um, and then going overseas to study um, the Elizaroff technique. I, I was the first North American to do that and visit Elizaroff. It probably helped being a Canadian back then because it was the Soviet Union. Uh, I was able to get a visa and uh, venture there before really any Americans had, had gotten there. Um, and little did I know how that was going to change my life and the life of many other people. Um, I brought the Elizarov technique back in 87, first to Toronto where I was at the hospital for sick children, and then I moved to the University of Maryland, and uh, we started uh, doing this before everyone else, so the, the world beat a path to my door, and I was uh, inundated with patients from literally the day I arrived. In fact, when I walked into the University of Maryland, um, the secretary there says, we don't understand what's going on, but there's about a hundred x-rays waiting here for you. And you haven't even started here. What is this? And uh, um, in other words, when I arrived in the United States, everybody had heard I'd arrived. And all these patients who had no solutions for their difficult uh, bony uh, deformities and limb length discrepancies and so on. Um, uh, started pouring in from all over the United States and all over the world. Uh, I was quite unprepared for that kind of practice. I don't think anybody's prepared for that. But it, it really was an incredible journey to this very day nearly 30 years ago. And um, what it brought to my door and, um, is patients with a variety of musculoskeletal maladies that um, are very challenging to solve, many of which don't have solutions. And being an innovative individual, we started developing lots of new solutions above and beyond what the Lazarov technique offered. And um, many of those patients had every type of dysplasia, including multiple osteochondromas. Uh, that's how I was taught it was called. I wasn't until I met Sarah that I found out the name was now MHE. So I grew up with multiple osteochondromas and I welcome it going back to that. Um, so, the, um, so we started treating a wide variety of these problems, including MHE, and developing new surgical solutions for these. Uh, and of course, once you've developed the medical solutions, hopefully we will prevent these and not require these surgical solutions. Um, I moved down here seven years ago. I, I moved eight for eight years at another hospital in Baltimore and then came down here seven years ago. And we're now five surgeons at the institute that you're gonna uh, have dinner at this evening. Um, we treat, I think about uh, 1,500 patients a year in terms of surgery and many more in terms of consultation. And many of these have MHE. And I think I have the distinct um, and unique honor of being one of the few people who employs two MHE employees, Sarah and Caroline, who you'll meet. So not only do we have many MHE patients uh, and many MHE surgeries and solutions, but we have MHE employees. So with no further ado, it's really a pleasure to welcome all of you here. I'm very excited to hear 
Matt's lecture this evening. And I'll turn this back to Jeff uh, 